Hello and welcome everybody to the Gnubi Show today. As you can see, I have brought a wardrobe behind me and don't worry, I'm not going to be fitting the dresses today, but I have got a professional called Adrian Duplessis who is an image consultant and I'm really forward, looking forward to this conversation today. And so Adrian, welcome to the Gnubi Show. Thank you very much, Ivan. I'm so honored to be here. Thank you. How are you guys doing during lockdown? um with the family no well um i'm i'm very fortunate to be with my husband and kids at home so yeah we're managing homeschooling and organizing activities to keep everyone busy and trying not to watch too much tv <laughs> yes <laughs> agent i would like to to sort of get behind your story a little bit more and i want to ask you how did you become an Im image consultant? Give us a little bit about the story behind the story. Okay, well, yeah, I'm going to give you the shortened version. Um, I am originally I'm a chartered accountant, and I um, worked at I was a, well various different places, but um, the last job that I had as a chartered accountant officially was at um, a a company that's part of a listed group and yeah, it's high stress, seven to seven type of job. Um, and our lives pretty much revolved around my deadlines. So when I felt pregnant with my son and I decided yeah, I wouldn't be able to do that as well. My husband's also a chartered accountant, so something's got to give. And then I resigned and I became a stay-at-home mom and I did a bit of accounting work for a few clients from home, but it wasn't really my passion. And then one day a friend out of the blue came up to me and said that she feels she must share something with me that um, I should maybe consider becoming an image consultant. And well, I'd never even really thought of that ever before. And then, I did a bit of research on what an image consultant does because I've always loved dressing. It was my favorite part of being in the corporate environment. <laughs> and, and I always helped friends dress for events and things like that. And yeah, it was a passion of my passion has always been a passion. Mm -hmm. And then I did a course. I found a course to do. Um, I was living in Worcester at the time, so I couldn't leave my children there and do a full-time course. So I did an online course through the Wardrobe Academy. And then I did a few makeup courses as well, and we moved to Paul. And from there, yeah, it just, everything just grew from there. Wow, fantastic. And tell us, Adrian, um, what do you do as an image consultant? Just give us a little bit more inside info. Okay, well, what I love about it is there's so many different facets. So every day is different. Um, there's the personal aspect where I work one-on-one -on -one with a client, looking at sort of their entire image from um, color, clothing, their wardrobes, their personal style and their lifestyle, um, as well as working on their confidence a bit and just the way they project themselves up to hair, makeup, makeup and shopping as well. And then there's the corporate aspect, which I also love, um, which is working with a business, um, looking at their image, how to project that image properly, um, how the staff should be groomed, um, the etiquette in the workplace, um, office etiquette, etiquette over the telephone, email, and then I also love doing staff training, working with people at a business and then in boutiques and things like that, training the staff how to sell the products to clients that really work for the client, um, causing the client to come back. And then I also do workshops and events which I really love. Um, yeah, so there's a wide variety. So every day is different, which makes it interesting. Yes, that, that sounds very nice. And Adrian, I mean, we're all families in lockdown now. So what has been the impact um, on your business specifically since lockdown has happened? Well, I think the impact of the economy on my business since before lockdown has been quite significant over the last six months. And um, with the slowing down of the economy, um, yeah, uh, I wouldn't, I'm definitely not classed as an essential item or service. So it's, 
people definitely start cutting the luxuries um, and businesses as well. So once lockdown set in, it has been challenging. I mean, as image consultant, you one-on-one, -on -one, you do shopping with a client, you do um, styling with a client. They, I don't do personally, but there are stylists that do fashion shoots and things like that, and all of those have come to an end. But I think it's also opened up your eyes to new possibilities and new ideas that you're forced to kind of do. Um, so I've started doing um, wardrobe consultations via Zoom, which I think has opened up the doors to, previously I was limited to doing consultations in the Western Cape, and now I have clients across the world, which mm. has kind of changed things a little bit. Yes, yes. So in that aspect, it has been interesting. And I think also because everyone's on the same, same base now, um, where I look at social media and that you don't have a professional photographer shooting your photos and your videos anymore. You don't have a professional makeup artist applying your makeup every day. So we just get, kind of put it out there that everyone can, everyone is on the same level. And that's maybe given me also a bit of more confidence to, I started my own YouTube channel and to do more videos because yeah, we're all, we're all on the same level now. Yeah, yeah, and I, I totally agree with you. I mean, I wrote this article when this whole thing started about how video is not an option anymore for businesses. It's an absolute necessity. And then my wife mm -hmm. said, so what are you going to do about it? And so, well, I started <laughs> the Canoodle Show. <laughs> yeah. And um, I mean, even like you mentioned about makeup artists and stuff, I was watching James Corden from the Late Late um, Show, and he's recording from his house. And... Um, so he had an interview with his parents in the UK and his mom said, so who's doing your makeup? And he started laughing and he pulled out the makeup in the drawer and he was doing his own makeup for, for the late, yeah. late show. And so that's just what's happened like overnight. And Adrian, my next question to you uh, on this is, what do you think will happen in the retail industry once lockdown ends and what needs to change? Well, um, I think we were all looking forward to a bit more of a relaxed version of lockdown after this, but going into stage four on Friday, um, there are some concessions which have been made and I see winter clothing will be allowed to be sold, which is great for the retail industry. But I think the impact that this lockdown has had on the industry so far is just it's tragic. Um, uh, yeah, it's. I don't think we'll be able to know the impact now initially, but I mean, so many, so many jobs um, are under pressure at the moment um, because, especially with the smaller boutiques and those type of places, um, people have been going on to online shopping. Those that have had the, been or have the capability, um, but I think people are still wary. Um, when in conditions like this people don't want to spend mm. so they're going to go for the basics and the essentials um especially with clothing but i'm hoping that there will be people out there that will support the businesses and and feel like buying something new so yes. i'm hoping for that yes no, that that's definitely what we're all holding thumbs for um i, I would like to ask you the, the next question do you see a future for image consulting in south africa I, I sat and thought a long time about that and um, there definitely is still a future. I would say, I mean, as I'm a mom, so I do this at the moment in between my kids' things and, well, at the moment homeschooling, but usually um, when, you know, in the mornings when they're at school or some afternoons or so. So for me, it's not a full-time job, but I think it has a major impact on the stylists that do this full-time. Um, yeah, the you'll have to be looking to changing the way you run your business from, from doing it one-on-one -on -one to doing it, as I said previously, over Zoom and trying new things um, because it is, it is generally a one-on-one -on -one type of business. And, yeah, you, you read the courses and things available these days yeah, are very expensive to become an image consultant. So you have to weigh up 
if you're going to get the return on that and be able to, if it's not, if you don't have support, be able to um, support yourself. Yes. Yes. And Adrian, um, what, what advice would you give women and men in this time about how they look? Well, I've, I've, there are many different opinions on that because I think at the moment, a lot of people just um, are kind of at home. So they feel they don't have to worry and they don't have to look good. And for me, it's a part of my day. I don't dress for other people to go out to other people. I dress for myself and it, because it makes me feel good and it builds my confidence. So I found during this, this lockdown period, the days that I don't go to any trouble or don't put on a little bit of makeup or something, I don't feel as good that day as I do when I get up, get dressed, just do the basic things I normally do. Um, and then I have energy for the day to help my family also and to encourage them and to give them in energize the family, I would say. So um, I would encourage you, even if it's just something small, just put on a different, a different shirt or blouse for the ladies, put on a little bit of lipstick um, for the men, get your wife to trim your hair a little bit or something like that. Just that you feel normal, a bit more normal again. Um, it gives you a bit of confidence. Yes, no, I agree with you. I saw this one petition going around because um, for um, hairdressers that mm. um, because it seems like it's going to be a long time. I don't know what I'm going to do to uh, <laughs> just stay nice and clean. But, um, yeah, I think, yeah. <laughs> even my son, I said to him, if you, if you, the school would see how long your hair is now, they would expel you. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I think the beauty industry is especially taken a hard knock and it's, it's, yeah. it's very tough. Yeah. Yeah. Adrian, I would really like to thank you for your time. We are going to post all your details in the description and I want to ask people watching, um, contact Adrian. She's uh, fully operational during this time. You can do a Zoom consultation. I mean, this interview was done via Zoom and um, you can have a real fun time. And uh, so I still want to just before we close, what do you think about my dress, my, my wardrobe behind you? I like it. I like it. You've got a whole a color coding going there, neutrals. Very nice. I like the frills going there. Yeah, very great. nice. Great. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, thanks guys, a lot, Ivan. Yeah, we, we want to just ask everybody just subscribe to, to the channel, share these videos. Every like and share is a local business that we are uh, helping and giving exposure during this time. So, Adrian, once again, thank you very much and have a lovely day. Thank you, Ivan. You too. Bye-bye.